So we begin. Happy morning again. Welcome back to Edu Skills OET Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OET learning process. And today we have the Edu India Six Batch fourth session. That is writing. We start writing today. We'll have 21 steps to cover. We'll be going step by step, and we'll start writing our first letter only after 14 steps. So that is the uh, competency guaranteed, scientifically proven steps to develop your competency. This is a session especially for beginners. We start from the beginning. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work. And please share to your contacts so that we reach out to maximum number of OET aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OET. OET 2.0 Occupational English Test, Subtest Writing and Writing Key Skills. OET writing step by step. So we start transforming each case note into a simple sentence. That is our first step. Then we will check it with Grammarly. These simple sentences, maybe today I will show you one example whereby I have um, transformed the case note into more than 36 sentences. Then we will check it with Grammarly, which is a soft free software, and I'll teach you how to use it for your corrections. So automatically what happens when you check with Grammarly, Grammarly will show you exactly where there are corrections. It will underline with red line. If there is a grammar mistake, if there is a sentence mistake, if there is a stress syntax, a word order mistake, all the mistakes will be identified by Grammarly software. And uh, as you click that particular word or sentence, on the right side, you will find the corrections. They will say you have used a definite article instead of indefinite article. You should have been using uh, past tense here. So they will give you exact explanations on the right side. So that is the second step. Third step, transform simple sentences into compound sentences. You take two simple sentences, use the conjunctions, and transform them to compound sentences. Then again, you have to check them with Grammarly. It's just copy and paste them over uh, to the Grammarly page, which I will show you later. Now, I hope you know, if you're writing your um, uh, sentences, you know how to Google convert them into Microsoft Word so that you can copy and paste in the Grammarly. If you don't know, I think there is a, a video already posted in the YouTube channel, OET, EduSkills OET YouTube channel. You can find them or you can request in the main platform. The admins will provide you with that. Then fifth step again, transform simple sentences and compound sentences into complex sentences. Whatever the simple sentences and compound sentences you have created, you will come, convert them or transform them into complex sentences because we need to use all these sentences, simple, compound, and complex sentences in our letter. And uh, sixth step again, check with the Grammarly. This is very important so that every at every step we understand what is our mistake, what are our challenges when you want to make a compound or complex sentence. So sixth step again, it is uh, Grammarly check. Then seventh step, write a story, speak out of the patient, either write a story or speak out to with your learning partner about the patient what has happened to him, what, what was the treatment, what were the diagnosis, what was the treatment, what was the result, all the details like a story you need to write or speak out. If you are writing, again, you have to check with Grammarly. Same story, write the story of the patient and paste in that Grammarly and you will find your own mistakes. And that has got a self-correction value and you will understand what are your mistakes, that will explain your mistakes, and that's the best way you can improve your competency. Then the third, ninth step is identify the key issues. You, if you have attended or seen the videos of Jake Thompson's case note, I have seen how to identify the keywords or key issues. Then 10th step, highlight the keywords, synonyms, reference in the case note. Once you highlight the key issues, maybe some case notes has, well, uh, they have one key, key issue, some have two issues or three issues, depending on major issue and minor issues. So what happens, you have to highlight the keywords or the synonyms or the reference in the case notes. For example, if diabetes mellitus is the key issue of that particular patient in the case note, so you'll have to mention all the synonyms and synonymous expressions, including those medications connected with the diabetes. So that will help you to choose the relevant, irrelevant and semi-relevant data. So 11th step is identify the relevant, semi-relevant and irrelevant case notes. As you have highlighted the keywords or the synonyms or synonymous or the reference or the medications connected or the, whatever the uh, statements or phrases connected with this particular uh, main issue, 
then you know these are the main things these are the relevant case notes then you'll be able to uh, eliminate the irrelevant case notes then 12th step is segregate the case notes or the sentences based on the key issues for example if there are more than one key issue you'll have to segregate which is the most important issue main issue so segregate them the sentences or the case notes whatever whichever you want if you have framed the sentences you can segregate them into separate paragraphs for example main issue then subsidiary issue then the 13 is arrange the sentences points according to sequence now you know you have segregated these sentences which i'll show you in the next step then you know they have no connections like maybe for in the beginning of the case note they speak about discharge then they speak about admission then there is no cohesion or sequence so the 13th step to arrange sentences that you already have simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentences into some cohesion or into some relationships arrange them in a paragraph as per the order then the 14th step is to write the different paragraphs now you have segregated them and put them into different order now you'll have to add some transition signals or time sequence signals or you'll have to add some uh, connective words all those things with those words and connective connectors you will write different paragraphs first paragraph second paragraph third paragraph and the purpose paragraph all those things and 15th step is start writing the letter in the writing format here you start clearly a letter you will be really competent to write a letter we will teach you from 15th onwards till 21 from 15th to 21st step we will teach you every step starting from address salutation date and uh, purpose <clears throat> paragraph body paragraph one body paragraph two then the request uh, all those signing off every detail exactly we will teach you how to write and how to develop how to write a grade a letter so we are not going into that 16 to 21 step now we will deal with these 15 steps in the beginning as we go on with that we will come with other steps hope that is clear for you